Hey YouTube, Texas Blades here. Today we're going to start uh, our first video in our new series we're going to be doing called Budget Blades. Uh, now when I say Budget Blades, I mean knives that cost $10 or under. Um, and the reason being is, you know, some people's budget may be $35, but, you know, there's a plenty of videos out there on, uh, you know, budget knives, survival knives, bushcraft knives, bushcraft knives, whatever. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there on $35 to $50 knives. I want to show you the knives that are dirt cheap that most anyone can afford. Uh, if I can afford it, then more than likely you can afford it. So, uh, the first one we're going to show, and we're, this isn't a review on the knife itself, because we've already reviewed this knife, uh, and we've done testing videos and a lot of other stuff, and the first one, of course, is going to be a Mora. This is the Mora Craftline 511. This knife shouldn't cost you more than ten dollars brand new. Uh, you could usually pick them up for about eight or nine. I actually got this one on eBay unfinished for seven dollars. And you can see that spine. You can fix that yourself and we're going to do a video uh, later on on how to put a 90 degree spine on this super sharp knife. It's got oil on it. It's a high carbon steel blade so uh, we're gonna, you know, keep our carbon oil down here. We're on the coast, lots of salt water. Uh, blade thickness is 0 0.08 of an inch, so two centimeters. Uh, blade length is 3.8 inches. Total length is 8.2 inches, and net weight on this knife is only 3.4 ounces. So you're talking a super light knife here. Uh, the sheath leaves a little to be desired. Uh, you're not gonna really get a decent sized belt, not a big man's belt. Isn't gonna fit in there for sure, uh, but we just ran some cordage through it and use it as a dangler. It works. We've done testing with this knife. You can go back check those videos out. We've done a full review on it. Uh, in our next video on it, we're gonna refinish this spine because they sell a lot of more knives on there that are on eBay that are unfinished. So uh, if you're looking to save a couple bucks, you can always pick one up unfinished and fix it up yourself. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.